Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today something exciting has happened. App Lab has premiered from Oculus, and I just wanted to show you how it's going to work. So SideQuest, which is up on the screen right now, is typically used for sideloading applications onto your Oculus Quest. You need a developer account, and you need to connect your Quest. As you can see right now on the screen, it says not detected. It's looking for the Quest inside Quest right now so that it can sync up and install applications. Now for a lot of applications, you're going to see things like installed a headset. But with applications that are available and enabled on App Lab at the current time, like Crisis Brigade 2 at the current time, you can just click on Oculus app here. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull up the Oculus storefront for Crisis Brigade 2. Now this is not going to be available through the Oculus app on your phone. It's not going to be available through the experiences page on oculus.com unless you have the direct link. That's the important thing here. So with App Lab, as you can see on the screen right now, it says available through App Lab and may be experimental and still in development. Apps from App Lab have not gone through the full Oculus review process, so they may include unknown issues relating to comfort, performance, or other factors. If you press OK here, it'll take you to what would probably be fairly familiar if you've ever looked at oculus.com slash experiences slash whichever headset you have. Um, this is solely right now for the Quest and Quest 2 platform, uh, but as you can see, we've got Crisis Brigade 2, it's a fast-paced virtual reality action shooter, etc., 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 um, if you have not already purchased, which I have at this point, this title, there would be a purchase link right under the graphic for Crisis Brigade 2 here. And it will show you the price. It will show you other associated information there. So it also has the ESRB ratings for each of the titles as well. So once you've purchased through App Lab, the next step is to open up your Quest device and in your Quest device under Not Installed, it's going to show that title that you've just purchased through App Lab, and you'll be able to install it. Now, according to the blog entry from Oculus, you need to wait until the Quest is updated to version 25. I'm still on version 23, and these applications are working just fine. So we're going to pop into the Quest 2 right now, and I will show you what that looks like. All right, so now we're inside the Quest 2 headset. If we click on our apps, you can see I've got a recently installed application here called Zoe. But if we go into not installed, we scroll down a little bit, there's Crisis Brigade 2 right there in all of its glory. If we click on it, we can go ahead and install it directly from the Quest 2, as opposed to having to sideload or things of that nature. It's, it's pretty awesome. And there's already a bunch of applications directly available. We've got the Ancient Dungeon Beta, uh, Baby Hands, Crisis Brigade 1 and 2, Diceem, Descent Alps Demo, Gym Class, Marine Verse Cup, Puzzling Places Beta, the Facebook Spark AR Player, Smash Drums Demo, and of course Zoe, which I already had installed. So I'm just going to jump into Zoe so you can see what this is. Uh, this is a in-VR immersive learning tool where you can actually create things. Uh, and right now it's still in development, so it's not that it's available on any particular platform. But if we click here, you can pull in 3D assets. So if we want to have... Uh, we've already got a couple here that I've built in, but if we want to have a bench, for example, we can take that bench, we can scale it up to whatever size we want, and we can place it in the world. Actually, I want to be lower, not higher. And then you can just lock it in place. And if we move ourselves back, you can see I've also got a school bus and a 
astronaut. Now, if I wanted to, we can move the astronaut over to the bench. So how we do that is we just click on this again. We do interactions, interaction zero, move to. Uh, previously, I had the school bus move to the astronaut. But what we're going to do is we're going to move the astronaut to the bench. It's going to take six seconds. We're going to hit play. And there you have it. The astronaut is moving to the bench. And unfortunately right now, uh, the astronaut is clipping through the bench, but you get the general idea. This is a tool that teaches you how to build and program directly within virtual reality, and it's pretty cool. And it's available as one of the applications through Oculus App Lab. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at getting into Oculus App Lab. You can actually pull up applications through a direct link from the developer, from a website, from itch.io on some pages, from SideQuest. As long as you're logged into your Facebook account on Oculus.com's homepage, you'll be able to see those direct links and purchase or install applications directly to your Quest 2 from those links. It's awesome. I'll be back with more VR content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.